we now return to Let's Play Battletech. So, I do actually want to buy some of these. Um, I'm not going to put them on right now, though, because, well, obviously because I need my guys, but I do have a large laser plus here, I think will go New well, as well as the plus plus medium laser. Now, I actually do have some extra stuff on some mechs that I'm not using. That's six. I think I'm only using... My Orion is only using an SRM-4. If I could find a way, maybe removing some ammo. Because the SRM-6 is only one ton more than the SRM-4. Removing an LRM ammo, so that's 120 rounds. Given that I've got a 15 running around here, that would be like 8 rounds with only one ammo, which Mm, I, I have not been keeping track of how long I've been doing these missions. That might be something to consider, though. Uh, my Hunchback, my Thunderbolt. Could do a large laser inside of that. Yeah, well, uh, but I do have some better stuff hanging around here. So, like, my Vindicator. It's got an LRM plus 5 and the medium. So we're going to actually, because we're probably not going to be using medium mechs as much, Unless I absolutely have to, in which case I will just go ahead and turn around and, uh, and uh, refit them again. We're just going to put this in. We're not going to be using it. It can sit for a bit. Um, LRM-5 will take that out as well. Put in just a regular, just in case. 2,000 for two days of nothing, but whatever. Logged and no. Okay, who else has got some? Um, I mean, it really, I should be spending the time to, to do this, to upgrade my weaponry, but I'll wait until we are going on a, on a trip, or until one of my other mechs is done so I can swap out and have this, because I very much liked um, the, uh, the lance that I went with last time, so we'll be doing that. I'm also going to dip in here with my mech warriors here, and we're going to go ahead and do my... Experience spreading, uh, ballistic. Let's go ahead and add a little bit to your tactics, uh, mostly for increasing my minimum range. Piloting does what again? Melee hitting, and stability, and evasion. Right. Well, we can hit both. So we'll do Train that. Confirm, Commander. Behemoth. Behemoth has got a good chunk of stuff here. We're, we're not very close at all to uh, you can increase your tactics as well. Fine. Mech warrior training complete. We're just going to start spending money. We're spending experience anyway. Training complete. Training confirmed, Commander. Standing by. Roulette is out. Roulette does have Let's go a little bit more in guts. Mech warrior training complete. Okay. Just out of curiosity, is there anything new to be said at this point? I have answers. Oh, actually, yes, there is. I guess this will be a conversation episode. Okay, so uh, got any opinions on this Lost Tech hunt the restoration is sending us on? In general, I'd say Lost Tech is great if you can find it, but hunting for it is usually a waste of time. That isn't our decision to make, though. This is Lady Arano's job, and it's the Arano Restoration Ship. We're just along for the ride. I have to say, though, it is weird this castle of Nautilus is on our true. When I left that system, I intended never to go back. Certainly didn't think you'd, I'd ever be putting people on the surface. Not on purpose, anyway, and not for a damn treasure hunt. Okay. Now, these should all be done, right? The rest of this. Now, maybe it's not going to be a talking episode. This will be just another little another little thing. Okay. Yes. Lord Madeira. I'd like to discuss the state of our war against the Directorate. It's in a state of flux. If we can find what we're looking for in our true, the entire face of the war could change. There's no guarantees, of course, but I'm optimistic. In Kamea's eyes, this is one step removed from prophecy. Her father's stories and predictions come to life. Strange that she's so interested in the Star League. The SLDF brutalized the periphery. 
That's true, the Star League was abusive and cruel to our people, and the Amaris Civil War was a direct result. Kamea knows all of this as well as anyone, as did her father. Lady Orano isn't trying to revive the Star League's culture. She doesn't blindly worship their decadence and callousness, not as those in the Inner Sphere do. When she was a child, perhaps, but not anymore. What she's after is their technology, the tools they used to oppress us once upon a time. She will turn those tools to our purpose, for the good of the Reach. Yeah, sure. What do you think we're going to find on Artru? Honestly, I can't say. Perhaps we'll find the armory full of battle mechs that Dr. Murad alluded to, or a functional memory core full of Star League-era secrets and technology. Or maybe we'll find nothing at all. One thing I can tell you for certain, this isn't a government, and that there isn't a government in the periphery, or inner sphere, that wouldn't strip our true bear to claim Castle Nautilus. It's a damn lucky thing we're getting there first. Guess we'll see what happens when we get there. And these are all once again... Always a pleasure. Okay. Who's next? Yang. You need some work done, Commander? What do you think of the plan to raid Castle Nautilus? It's gonna be interesting. Never thought I'd be going grave robbing, but the life of a mercenary is full of surprises. I do have to say the prospect of getting to work on an SLDF battle mech is intriguing as hell. I'm doing my best not to salivate just thinking about it. Never actually seen an SLDF mech before, but I've heard stories. I imagine every mech tech has a, had a dream or two about tinkering with a gauss rifle, and if Castle Nautilus is as well stocked as Dr. Murad says it might be, well, I don't want to jinx it. Suffice it to say, I'm intrigued. Well, I mean, clearly there's got to be something awesome in there, because if there's not, then it would be a huge disappointment to the game. I mean, we're meta, we're doing a little bit of meta here, but come on. Why would we, why would they dangle that in front of me if, if it's not going to be awesome, right? You mentioned other black boxes on the Argo. What do you think that we might find on this ship? Beats me, probably nothing with overvalue. Anything that even remotely resembled a weapon or tool would have been salvaged by pirates long ago. But as we've already seen, there are many different forms of treasure, and some are more cleverly hidden than others. It's an interesting position to be in. We've still got a lot of wasted space on this ship, rooms full of old trash that could be cleared out and ref retrofitted. At least I think it's trash. What if, what if it isn't? What if, in clearing out some of those rooms, I wind up scrapping something that could help us down the road? I'll just put it in the walls where we hide the mechs. Our, <laughs> our storage walls of holding. See you later. And Samire. How can I help, Commander? What do you think of the plan to raid Castle Nautilus? Oh, I think I made my feelings on the matter pretty clear. It's a bad idea. No screw. No, scratch that. It's a shockingly bad idea. We should be focusing on the war against the Directorate. Instead, we're taking a massive diversion and heading to the middle of Directorate space where we'll dig for buried treasure that might or might not kill us. Look, I know everybody's really excited about the prospect of finding Star League Defense Force battle mechs, and I do get what that would mean. But seriously, Commander, we're betting an awful lot on a hunch, don't you think? Not at all, Samire, because as I just said, we're <laughs> the game would not let us go for nothing. Um... If there's even a chance we'll find Lost Tech, I'm all for checking it out. That's it then, isn't it? You and Lady Orano have me outranked and outnumbered. We're going to Archu whether I like it or not, I get that, and I'll do my job. Same as I always do, but I reserve the right to say I told you so if this mission blows up in our faces. It absolutely will not. Commander? Besides, it's the story mission. It's the plot to the story. I mean... <laughs> it's just a little melodramatic, the way everyone's just like, Oh my god, what are we going to find there? Well, what do you think we're going to find there? Anyway, I guess now we can begin uh, begin the two and a half. I don't know what we're going to find here, but we may as well go for, for full salvage. Many years ago, we fought a lengthy conflict with the Directorate here on Mikdor. Recently, news has trickled in from a remote region of the planet. Enemy forces harrying regional transportation. What? Oh. Eyewitness reports describe very old mechs in colors from the conflict long since ended. You are to show these old mech warriors the war is over for them as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to be another chance at doing the same exact thing. So, we'll do this. And I very much liked this loadout from last time, so I believe we will continue it. We should have them outgunned considerably, especially if we continue the same exact strategy as last time. So let's head into that.
That is, of course, provided it works. Now, I'm not sure. Was it the legging and knocking out of a dragon early on? And then the corridor? I feel like last mission went very well because of a number of factors. One, the early takeout of a heavy mech. Um, two, the fact that we pretty much just ran them all down a single file gauntlet. Um, because they had to go around the installation. They weren't able to all line up on me and fire all at once. It was pretty much a one-to-one-to-one, -to -one -to -one, you know. Uh, three was terrain. The use of boulders and the cliff face actually helped me a lot. So, there could be a number of factors here. Looks like we found our targets. Move forward, clear them out. What are those? There's a Jaeger mech in there. Okay, a chance to get that. What are those? Be careful, those mechs may be old and poorly well maintained. But again, poorly... <laughs> But they can still kill you. It looks like there's only three. Are there only three? I wish I knew what those were. Alright. So, we could stay in the water. Um, I, being a laser back based mech, perhaps would prefer that. Keeping them in the rough terrain along the water's edge would probably be highly beneficial to me, actually, because then I could possibly knock them over. The problem with that, though, is that I do not have the height advantage staying down in the water than to take advantage unless I popped up on them. So actually, if we came over to this side, hop down in the water when we absolutely needed it, or we could come over here. Over here, they'd probably line up along the water's edge, and then maybe we could hop on the islands and shoot, and that might be a little bit better. Let's go to the left. I will just assume that we'll get away with this for one turn. Oh. Well, I was going to put in my new mods. They probably would have only taken a day. That's okay. and they do not seem to have moved. So do I advance immediately into the water? Or do I try to draw them out? Copy that. I feel like just running around in the open is a huge mistake. Using terrain to my advantage was always a good idea for me. In fact, coming up along here maybe would have been a better choice. Shuffling them around, but again, Seeing how quickly this lance overheats, given our heavy laser based loadouts, I think water's gonna help me here. And the strategy I'm going to attempt to employ is knocking one down and try to do a headshot with the. Uh, Hunchback, which is getting far, too far ahead, actually. The Hunchback needs to hang back. Are we able to hit him yet? Okay, we've made contact, so now they know I'm here. There's only three. That doesn't mean anything, though. We do absolutely want to... See, maybe, maybe I should really be trying to drag them back so I'm in forest, and then when I need to, I can dip into the water, shoot, and then come back. easy. It's also on unstable ground, it looks like. Shoddy. Oh, okay. 
Damage reduction, though, from front and side. And it's in forest anyway. I hear ya. You know what? I can reserve. Okay. What did I say about those quick draws? That gets it from the side. Which allows me to maybe shoot a, a leg out. Shoot into a leg. I'm on unstable ground myself, but we're going to give this a try. Okay. Thunderbolts. More thunderbolts. Okay, probably have to jump down here into the water. Damage minimal. But we're hurting there. And Orion, now, still doesn't have <laughs> Standing by. Can hit with all. Okay. Get in that forest. And I didn't start with enough to hit that leg. So now we have to hope for the best. Well, that works. Sort of. Not at all what I was actually going for. Okay, well that's a big help there. Unsteady. I don't think you're good enough to get in there now, unfortunately. You are not. I guess we didn't need to jump. I could easily have just ran in there, which is probably what I should have done, actually. So it was two thunderbolts then. Okay, uh -huh. well that did not do what I had hoped, but we'll get another Jaeger mech bit. I uh, did not realize I was only going to have one shot of the... Uh... Okay, you need to get down and, and stand still. Okay. So clearly we need to get over to the forest. Uh, how are you doing? Very bad, actually. I could. Let's get down. Use a. Uh, well, maybe we can use that on the evasion. Sensor lock on target. Okay. Different variety. Come on now. Fuck. And guess who's down again? Warning. And injured, and out for another goddamn month. Injury. God. 
Okay, well, neither of these is terribly hurt. So, I do want to actually be able to aim from a side. I like being able to aim from the sides. So, I do not like the fact that we could be meleeed right, very quickly. This increases my evasion considerably, however. So which is the bigger threat? LRM-15, absolutely. actually just hit it from here? Not optimally, though. This is much better optimal fire. Well, any amount of hitting is good for this. We're going to risk this. Got it. The Hunchback still has a considerable amount of armor despite being a medium mech, so I'm not overly concerned. Close, but not really. This might be good for me if I can run over here and shoot him in the back. So you've got it good here. Can we actually get optimum range? We can. If I move forward just one more, I get optimum range on all of my stuff. It, however, does kill my heat. You would think that it would just naturally target that fucking leg. Well, we'll blow through something if I attack it. I'm just missing the opportunity to get this guy from behind by... Okay, let's not be greedy. Optimum range here. Except on the missiles, but that's fine. Would I get optimum? No, I would not. But I could fire them anyway. That is still not from the side. I didn't. I guess I didn't have a shot from the side. Okay. Well, we'll get you here anyway. Angle in this way. All we got to do is knock it down, and then the rest of these guys can take care of it. Right on top of the other one. Create a little pile of dead mechs here. Now, is that the variant? I guess we'll find out here if I can... Oh, good god. That's so stupid. I'm knocked out for an entire goddamn round, but they can get back up immediately when it's their turn? Doesn't matter. 
but it could turn around easier on me that way. It's still not very good odds. evasion on that. You want to do me a favor? There's no real optimum range there. I could potentially have enough to core this. Potentially. If I just aimed for the same place, though, what would that do? Probably blow off an arm, right? Well, whatever. Oh, we all saw that coming. It's because he just needs more experience. He doesn't have enough experience to, uh... You don't even really need to do that, do you? That's more damage, potentially, than a medium laser does. Okay, that's why we need to get down in here. So that we can utilize the water to cool off. It won't happen right now. That looked like a headshot to me. Commander. A shame I do not have what it takes. Overheating. That off. Come on, lucky shot. No such luck. Waiting for orders. I would like to get into some cover. Shot, I would really appreciate it. Right, Commander. Just one, just one has to hit the damn head. Critical hit. Well, I don't want to blow out the torso if that's the case, so let's just keep hitting from here. We're gonna have to lower another one. Just one lucky headshot, that's all I goddamn need. Just melee it? I don't, I mean, that could be anything. Sure, melee it. That'll help lower my heat, too. Oh, 
Well, so much for that. Well, I'd love to get that second thunderbolt, but that's not going to work. So why was it that my morale, probably because I'd been destroying a few things, that's why, I destroyed a few turrets in the last mission, and that's what allowed me to, uh... God, that is so ridiculous. Every fucking time. It was my own fault for putting him in a quick draw. I mean, Jesus. I thought... I thought I already had one part of another thunderbolt. Didn't I? I swear I had another thunderbolt. So we got that arm mod, so I'll have to put that on, say, a dragon? I'll have to put that on one of my mechs meant for melee that I never ever melee with. Well, that one didn't go quite as well as the last one. I mean, I knew what I was doing with that that quick draw anyway. I knew it was going to get hit, but fuck. One more. Uh, Ryan's fate. So we are going back. Why are we going backwards? Just because we're waiting? It's a small desert world. I'm in no hurry to go back to that. So it looks like we'll be taking this next one. Probably more heavies. How are we doing on uh, healing here? So this one needs repair. Two days repair. So I guess in that case, if I'm going to be waiting on that repair, I'll find something else that'll take two days. Because um, now we're down a mech. I guess that's an SS and that's an S, and then the one I've got is an SE. That's actually really. No, because there's an. So there's an SE, there's an SS, and there's an S. And what, I'm, what am I running around in right now? SE? I don't know why the game hangs like this, for Christ's sake. There. SE, yeah. Huh. Enforcer. So many mechs that just never got used. Anyway. Okay, well. We're there to another quick draw. And that Jaeger mech. God, it's going to take forever to get this. And by the time we do get it, it's going to be useless to me. Oh well. Hmm. Okay, well, anyway. Um, so we're down. Down one mech that I want to take on, on this run. So we're going to wait for it, because we need at least three heavies. This is ridiculous. We're not going to be going in there with this, and I don't know. I don't know. How about our mech warriors? Do we have enough mech warriors now? Probably not. We've got three. So the answer is no. we got to wait for another mech warrior. How many days is that going to take? Sixteen days, okay. Anyone we can hire. Just the renegade, who is actually terrible. Well, I guess maybe we won't be doing that then. We'll be taking our 15 days and going to Ryan's fate. Directorate leader has fallen behind on payments for their armored vehicles, and our leasing agent has been unable to repossess the heavily armored vehicles. We decided sending a more explosive message is the best way to ensure others do not take future liberties. They mentioned the target vehicles are currently on deployment with a secondary lance of vehicles. You can optionally destroy them as well. And there's a bonus. Okay, I guess we're just going to leave. 
we're just gonna leave because we're we're limping along right now as it is so that'll give me a chance to do some modifications and then we can go on a long trip and uh, we'll have some fun so I okay uh, we'll see you next time